So let's say we have a situation like this, where we have this ball and it's written at five different times. Notice that T3 is the same here and here. We're trying to find velocity and acceleration vectors that are acting on our ball. The velocity vectors when we travel up the ramp are gonna look like this. Notice velocity gets smaller and smaller until we reach the split second before the ball starts to roll back down. Now velocity vectors for the second diagram are gonna be in the negative direction since they're going back down the ramp. I just like to denote down the ramp as being negative. Now, this is pretty intuitive as to what velocity is gonna look like as we travel up and down the ramp, assuming that we don't have any friction. But the question becomes, what is acceleration going to look like? And acceleration is going to look like this. Now notice for this top diagram that the acceleration points in the opposite direction as the velocity vectors, causing these velocity vectors to decrease in magnitude as we go up the ramp. Now notice as we go back down the ramp, the velocity vectors and the acceleration vectors are both pointing in the negative direction, causing the velocity vectors to increase as we go down the ramp. Also, acceleration is constant. None of these vectors have a larger or smaller magnitude than the other one. That's because acceleration in this situation is due to gravity, and gravitational acceleration is a constant value. 